Okay, welcome back. Today's episode, I'm going to be taking a look at a Super Nintendo cartridge. Now, this cartridge came in, and every time I turn it on, it just gives me a black screen. So, I got to crack this open, see what's going on. So, the last two cartridges I fixed came from the same lot, and they really did have uh, faults. So, it's not just a matter of cleaning and trying to get them to run. I suspect that there's something broken on this cartridge. So I'm hoping it's a bad trace or a something simple. But looking at this chip here, I hope this chip is salvageable. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to scrub the board with some alcohol and just clean up the corrosion or just clean up anything I can get off if there's loose rust. Hopefully that'll come off with the alcohol. So after cleaning the board, I didn't get anything. Um, it's still bad. And so I, I was probing around here and I think I found a broken trace. So I'm gonna clear up the head of the pin and see if I can um, test with the multimeter to see if I have a truly broken trace or if it's a false alarm but I think that there is a broken trace with the naked eye I can just barely see a break so I'm gonna scratch it with the fiberglass pen and then test for continuity now I already previously tested for continuity but sometimes you get a false alarm so I'm really hoping that this is a broken trace because that's an easy fix so I, I actually forgot to hit record on my camera before I tinned the um, the leg this is a broken trace as you can see I don't have any continuity now I already tinned it off camera so I apologize for that but I'm gonna show you now some of these traces lead and they do have continuity but when I get to the one that's been tinned already that one doesn't have any continuity so I'm gonna patch that I could just barely make out where I think the break is. It, with the naked eye, you could barely see it. I believe it's right above where I tin the pin. So I'm going to patch it with a component leg. Now, looking back, maybe I shouldn't have used the component leg. I could have used a piece of uh, Kynar wire or just a, a piece of patch wire but because a, a component leg is easily can easily short against something but in this case I was careful make sure that the, the component leg wasn't touching anything else and and I did test for continuity after so just to make sure that it's not bridging against anything or touching against anything so after that the solder that I use has flux in its core so it tends to leave some flux behind so I always like to follow it up with some alcohol and I'll also scrub up these pins a bit more just to see if I can get just a little bit better um, looking pins here so here's where I use the multimeter just test around my my patch just to make sure nothing is bridging and nothing else is being touched now like I said before, maybe a component leg isn't the greatest solution for this, but it's what was right in front of me on my workbench. I had a component leg just sitting um, next to me. So I grabbed it and I just used it to patch. So it's just a little bit of ingenuity. If you have what you have on hand, you can use what you have on hand. So without any screws I'm going to try it out and see what I get. Now it's always odd, some of these Super Nintendo cartridges take a while to fire up and as you can see this one is working. So just one simple patch and you're back in action with these games. Even as ugly as those pins were on that chip, this game still works. So some of these games are resilient. If you think that these a game is, is too far gone, you would be surprised what it takes to kill these games. Now I have gotten games that I couldn't fix so not everything is fixable. But in some cases, even the ugliest ones survive.
as this video closes out I just wanted to say that I am enjoying fixing cartridges and I do like these little videos because I can get them out a little bit easier a little bit faster and they don't take an eternity to edit out so but let me know if you like these videos if you like cartridge related repairs or do you like more console related repairs let me know down below comment in the comment section down below leave a like on this video subscribe if you haven't already and share this with your friends so once again as always thank you for watching